you pour it into your eight, how much is going to be left over? Four ounces. Students at Emerson Elementary School are excited to be learning math through interactive technologies, thanks to the TOSA Foundation. Through an ongoing partnership with UW La Crosse School of Education, math education faculty and pre-service elementary education students worked with Emerson third through fifth grade teachers to prepare math units based on the rigor of the Math Common Core Standards. The units were designed to incorporate interactive whiteboard technologies from smart boards, tables, and document cameras. To ensure successful implementation of the new technology, the Emerson teachers and pre-service education students participated in professional development training from the UW faculty to understand the math standards and how to use the interactive technologies. Certified smart trainers prepared staff with the technical knowledge to deliver activities in the classrooms. In addition, the UW La Crosse partnership has allowed math education faculty to work in partnership with Emerson teachers to develop assessments that align with the Common Core. I was really excited because I just like, I've never really had a smart board before, but I've heard it that they are really fun. Fourth grader Isabel Burgess likes using the smart tables to reinforce her learning. It's easier sometimes because there's games and then Sometimes people like playing games to help them learn, so they play games on there like math questions or science questions. How many of the one-fifth pieces am I going to need to make a whole fraction bar? Five. Five, and five one-fifth size pieces are the same as one whole? Teacher Patrick Shea sees the extreme value in using a smart board. The smart board is, it makes things much more visual, makes things much more interactive for kids. Before when I was using an overhead, they could come up, but it's, you know, maybe choose a different color marker was as exciting as it got. And with the smart board, you can put mani manipulatives up there. You can put different pictures. They can move things around. They can group things different ways. I love math, and, like, it seems, like, much easier now since the smart board has come. It kind of makes it more fun than just asking what the questions are. Shay and Jean Creighton have found the smart tables to be extremely helpful as they begin to teach math using the new Common Core standards. The university students designed math lessons and activities for the smart tables. They did bring some nice lessons in. Um, their professors helped them plan them and organize them so that they would fit in and tie in with our units. We did a fraction unit. I was able to put fraction bars up on the overhead, or up on the smart board, excuse me and they were able to come up and show you know, different fractions, actually manipulating the pieces and moving them around. Another student could come up and take a, another set of pieces and show equivalent fractions and a lot of interaction. So that they show the group in the front and then the kids have the pieces in front of them as well so they can be following along also and it's, they love it. They have spent quite a bit of time um, designing and showing us how to design the lessons for the smart table. Um, and they all are also all trained with the new Common Core Standards. So um, we're able to use a lot of their lessons and then break things up so that we're not um, solely teaching in front of the class anymore. We can kind of differentiate um, instruction at the different children's levels. We're able to make um, different kinds of um, lessons on the tables that we can incorporate um, the new Common Core Standards because um, there really aren't textbooks that are written using the Common Core yet. So this is one way that we can do that. The Smart Tables offer us a, another technology resource. And the, today's learner is uh, hands-on and technology-driven. It's the, it's the direction education is heading. Um, it, it's the future of where things are going. So to have another application for that uh, meets the needs of today's learner. They have a high interest in the tables. Uh, high interest in all technology, so this is one more fantastic resource that we have to use in the classrooms. The school's LMC director, Lisa Altrider, provides the ongoing technical support to the classrooms. When they're working on projects and they run into glitches, I'm the first one they come to to help with those glitches. We do some troubleshooting and figure out the problem and fix it. Students like the opportunities for interactive review that the smart boards and smart tables provide. The document camera has also proven valuable for showing student work and viewing manipulatives. If we're doing a plant dissection, I can take the flower and put it underneath the document cam, enlarge it so it's up on the screen and show the kids exactly 
what I'm seeing, and this is things you can look for as well. So for, for some of those three-dimensional manipulatives that they don't all see when you have the class size we do and gather around one small desk, it makes it much more visual for everyone. Teachers from throughout the school district of La Crosse have learned from the work done at Emerson. Shea and Creighton shared their experiences during the district's Summer Technology Institute and challenged teachers to think about how they could better incorporate technology into their classrooms and lessons. Creighton loves the creativity the technology brings to the classroom. Having it be colorful and, um, you know, manipulatives can be brought to life and they're not just small little things. It's not, you know, becomes, you know, more exciting. The kids, I mean, seem to be much more engaged in math because of it. Student Allison Bast agrees. Sometimes you get to go up and write the problems. When it's up there, you, it's easier to pay attention. Carson Colburn likes the hands-on learning that smart tables provide. Some of the apps where it's like multiple choice, there are answers all around. Then there's a, the answer in the middle and you have to like bring the equation in. And if it's wrong, they all go back. But if it's right, like that's a firework thing. In addition to hands-on learning, the Emerson teachers believe the smart boards and smart tables provide equal learning opportunities for all their students. It's another tool, it's another way to motivate kids, um, especially some reluctant learners who don't want to make mistakes in front of other students or those who just find the traditional methods unmotivating. When you put new technology in front of them, then they want to all try it out. They learn without knowing that they're learning. I think that Having technology in schools really um, levels the playing field for all kids so that um, it doesn't matter their income level, it doesn't matter their ability level, it doesn't matter where they're coming from. They can all be successful with the use of technology.